Doing good, guys. How y'all doing today? We're doing well. Um, coach, your team able to get a win last night over Frederick early season. What are some uh, expectations for the team this year? Um, expectations are to, you know, definitely win the win the, the EPAC, um, win the sections and regionals, and uh, get to the state tournament. And hopefully uh, our, our ultimate goal is to win the state championship. But we first, we have to take care of uh, um, business in the regular season. Coach, before uh, we got you on the line, we were kind of looking at that final score, looking at some numbers. What were your takeaways from last night's overtime win at Frederick? A uh, great win, um, especially going on the road, uh, opening, you know, with a team like that, um, you know, a team that went 27-1 and last year that has a, um, a lot of returners, a lot of transfers. Um, it was a great win um, to go on the road. It was a tough place to play in, tough environment down in Frederick. And I know they have high expectations, too. So I thought uh, we got down a little bit in this first quarter and uh, thought we fought back um, and showed a lot of poise down the stretch. Uh, so I think overall that was a, just a good game for us to be in, uh, win or lose, because we got some of that um, playoff atmosphere early in the season. Coach, when you look at your team and the guys coming back, Jamari Jenkins, your leader, uh, Jane Gladney, Wyatt Shively, Kylan Johnson, kind of your top scorers from last night, and all those guys have experience. Um, how do you feel like those guys have grown s s from the last few years and uh, now this is the, their team and really uh, a chance to uh, shine with this group? Yeah, I think they've all grown. Um, saw big, um, some big improvement from Colin. Um, I know Colin didn't start last year, a lot of games for us, but he was our fourth leading scorer. Um, this year he's in a starting role. Um, I think he's earned it, you know, through the offseason. Um, he was kind of our leader in the summer um, and through the offseason as well. So I think he's uh, um, going to have a big year for us. Um, and then Jamari's back. And also Jaden, we know they've all had all state, you know, accolades over the past couple of years. So it's nothing new to them. And then Wise going to a different role this year, um, kind of like his brother in years past. So looking for him to step up. And I think, um, you know, he had an injury during football. So he just started practicing on Saturday. So we still haven't really got his legs under him um, and his shot down. So looking for a big improvement from him throughout the season. We can stay healthy. Coach Lewis uh, asked you already about the expectations for your team, and your answer was pretty simple. Win the section, win the, win the region, get to states. You guys have been successful in those the past few years. How do you make sure that your team is ready for that pressure to be the top team in the region and make sure they know that with that comes all that pressure but that's what it has to be yeah i always talk about pressure it's not really a lot of pressure um especially when you're when we're coming through you know through this journey uh, i know it's the we're looking for a four four straight state tournament appearance so it's not really a lot of pressure um we're gonna get everybody's best shot anyway and, and every every coach's best game plan anyway. So that's going to happen no matter what. Um, if you look at all the teams in the EPAC, all the coaches, they're going to prepare extremely well. Uh, coaches were there last night scouting. So we know how uh, competitive it's going to be no matter what. So it's not really a lot of pressure. Our biggest thing is for us to take care of us. You know what I mean? we got to go about our work every day and get better. Um, it was a great win last night, but I told them, you know, that's not the ultimate goal, just to be Frederick High School. Um, I know what the expectations were going into the game. Um, a lot of people didn't give us a chance to win the game, but just knowing that we got a lot of a lot of games like that ahead of us, so we can't get too high, can't get too low. Um, but like I said, no, not a lot of pressure on us. I think um, it's going to be tough no matter who we play this year, um, whether it be a sectional game or out of sectional game. So we're going about it. Just worry about Jefferson. I'll uh, take care of Jefferson's business each and every day and get better. Coach, outside of that core, who have been some guys that have really stepped up for you? Um, we got, last night we had two guys who haven't played um, for us. You know, Jared Wilberger, he started for us last night. He's about 6'4", about 230, 240. He played defensive line and offensive line for the football team. So Jared was a sophomore on varsity two years ago, and he decided not to play last year. Concentrate on football, so he was back, 
and I thought he uh, contributed really well last night. He had five points and made about five or six rebounds. Um, and then Quentin Goings, who hasn't played um, at all at Jefferson um, in high school, actually, it was his first high school basketball game, um, contributed last night as well. He had nine points and about six or seven rebounds. And he's about 6'3". For football, you probably know him, about 250. So um, he's uh, been a big surprise for us in the, in the preseason. Um, you got Todd Vickers, um, who had a big big state tournament in the sectional run last year. I'm uh, looking for some big things from him as well. Um, we got some other guys, Tayshawn Roper, who was starting for us last year, um, but came off the bench and gave us some big minutes last night. Um, we had some other guys. We're probably, probably going to end up going. We didn't do it last night. We'll probably end up going a little deeper, um, probably about 10 or 11 throughout the season. Uh, we got Mar Wallace, um, Donald Trostel. Um, we have uh, Caleb Connor, uh, Takeem Drake. We have some guys on the bench um, that can really contribute. So we're, we're a really deep team. Um, and I told the guys that uh, it's probably the deepest team we've had since 2021. So um, we're just trying to get you know all that worked out and get the chemistry together. Other than depth for your team, what are some strengths that uh, you've seen from them so far? Yeah, just I think last night we um, when we needed to, we got stops. So defensively, I thought we locked in on a really talented team um, with a couple of high level college players on, on that team. So I thought um, the half court defense was pretty good last night. Um, we can definitely do a better job, but I thought when we need to get stops, we got stops. And then I thought um, when the game slowed down last night, I thought we executed well down the stretch in overtime. So that was really good to see early in the season, not having like some of those guys um, practice that much. The football team just really got done two weeks ago, and uh, Wyatt and Jared just started practicing um, on, on Saturday, Friday and Saturday. So just trying to get, get those things worked out. So I thought we executed really well. I um, mean, our half court, um, and I know we we're known for going up and down, but I thought our half court was pretty good last night on both ends. Coach, you guys have your Cougar Classic this weekend. What are some things you want to see from the team in, in that uh, mixer? Uh, we're just trying to, you know, get back on the court. Um, we want to we want to get back on the court and then just try to keep gelling as a team. Um, the biggest thing for us, like I said, is chemistry. I think um, – our best basketball is ahead of us. Um, I know we, we played a really good team last night, a really experienced team, but I think we can play a lot better than we did last night. So our biggest thing this weekend is to um, basically um, just get back on the court, continue um, getting better, and then hopefully that translates into wins. So that's that's the ultimate goal, um, to get you know two wins this weekend, and uh, hopefully we got two games next weekend, so next week. So just continue to gel the team and grow. Because we got a lot of growth, even though we got an older team um, with nine seniors, um, we still got a lot of chemistry issues we got to work out. Coach Lewis, it seems like everybody in the Eastern Panhandle Athletic Conference is continuing to get better. Just get your thoughts about how strong this conference is going to be this year. Extremely strong. Um, you have, um, just in our section alone, you have Musselman who's returning, I think, just about everyone from last year. Um, that that was significant as far as the minutes and, and points. So I think they're definitely going to take a step up. Um, I know they had some injuries early in the season last year, but I think looking at this muscle man, um, how they finished out last year um, and having a lot of experience back, they got to have a lot of confidence going into the season um, and a lot of momentum. And then you got Washington, who's uh, much improved. Um, we got new coaching staff over there. Um, so I know they're trying to build a culture over there, winning culture as well. So they got some, they got a couple of transfers and, and a couple of players that's going to step up for them as well. So just in our section alone, it's gotten better. Um, so we're looking for just, you know, our section to be as tough as it's been in the last couple of years. And then we know Hedgesville, Martinsburg, Spring Mills, I'm looking to take a step up as well. They have a lot of returners, um, a lot of all-state guys coming back. So, um, just looking at that whole our whole section and region, um, it's pretty tough. So you look at everybody's improved, and, and I think everybody was pretty young last year too. So just looking at you know everybody's expectations should be pretty high. Coach Pendleton County and Bethel Academy are the two uh, teams that will be in the Cougar Classic as, as well as your team. Um, what are some things that you 
know about them and what challenges do they provide and also just in general, I guess, uh, what were you trying to accomplish with your non-conference schedule this year? Yeah, don't know much about them. I know Pendleton's um, been in the state tournament for single A. They they called up and said they wanted to come down. Um, I know they were going to make a run this year. I was just talking to the coach um, when they scheduled, so they were looking to try to take a step up in competition. So that was one of the teams that called us up and wanted to participate. So that's one of our opponents, um, and I don't know much about either team. Um, either of the teams is coming through. Um, I know um, Glenelg Academy, the other team that's playing, and they make sure they're pretty talented. Um, they have a big talented roster, a couple of seven footers. So we're just looking to uh, try to get on the court, and like I say, get some chemistry in jail, um, and you know, look look to continue winning. As far as our non-conference schedule, I'm sorry. Um, we did at GW. They're coming to Jefferson at the end, the end of um, February, right before sessions. Um, and then we have a team in Philadelphia. Then we're going out to D.C. and playing our uh, mixer. And we're traveling to Bridgeport. Um, and then we have the Virginia schools locally, um, Millbrook and, and Jamesburg. All righty, Coach Lewis, appreciate the time and best of luck this year. I appreciate it, guys. Thanks. Thank you.